Hi, this is Commander Nikki, and this is your favorite podcast on gaming. <laughs> At least I hope so. Hi, and welcome to a new and actually the very first episode of Nikki's Gaming Universe, the podcast where I talk about who would have thought gaming. And for my very first episode and also probably really short one dealing as a trailer or something, I want to go and talk about my history with gaming and just little pieces here and there, something along the lines of that. Obviously, as a first episode, things are gone, going to be a little rough around the edges, I'm pretty sure, like, the, the babies can't walk going straight out of the womb, so, like, why should a first podcast episode be any different? Um, I mean, it's technically not my very first podcast episode, since I've been a guest on the, unfortunately... Uh, um, discontinued um, forever on hiatus podcast games and groceries it's really cool I'm gonna link you the episode in the show notes if I remember it and I've also been on a few side quests episodes of the fun and games podcast also really I recommend listening to those two um, uh, and I will also link the episodes I've been on or like hosted since like it's a guest hosting system with the side quest episodes. Um, I'm gonna link those in the show notes. So yeah, my history with gaming. Um, I think it started like relatively early. Like I wasn't as into gaming in my early youth as others have been for example like if older siblings I'm an only child if older siblings for example had like a Game Boy and then the little kid sibling would like go and play with the older sibling or like on bigger consoles like the PlayStation and stuff like I have never had that but like one of my earliest gaming memories is playing the old Space Cadet pinball thing that was on the Windows. Wow, I think 2000 or even maybe even 98. You know, the pre-installed thing uh, with the cool soundtrack. Like, I used to play this pinball game a lot and even like battled with my dad for high scores. So that was pretty cool and then like school continued and I made friends and so I was like introduced to uh, having a Game Boy and my first Game Boy game um, was Pokemon Fire Red and my first Game Boy was actually the Game Boy Advance Micro, like this really really tiny thing. I. I don't even think that's like common knowledge that the thing existed because it was like really tiny like the advance uh, was like this brick almost like one of those uh, Nokia 33 whatever uh, the the number was like and the micro advance was like tiny it could fit like in a palm of a hand and so Fire Red was like my first actual video game game as like by um some sort of definition like um of course like you could go into a whole debate of what is a video game what counts as a video game like Pong is a video game, but like by nowadays standards, it's like, yo, what the fuck? Those those pixels are dumb, 
And like there's people who uh, will shit on uh, stuff like walking sims and will refuse to call those games even though in my opinion they are and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a whole episode on walking sims. Even though I have done one on a video in my on my YouTube channel, which I'm also going to link. Uh, surprise, I also have a YouTube channel, but it's currently kind of on hiatus. But I think a podcast is just, I don't know, easier to do than just doing like the whole video stuff with the uploading and the saving and the editing and uh, getting ready and looking presentable and stuff and everything like that. So... um podcast it is and um yeah so uh, pokemon fire red was like my first quote unquote real video game and then it later continued with like um having a ds and playing lots of nintendogs and continuing with the whole pokemon stuff with uh, mystery dungeon and and uh, the whole mainline Pokemon games and then I had a PS2 and I had this Looney Tunes game because like I got it from my uh, uncle and uh, uh, I, it was like around the time I was like I don't know 14 12 or whatever so uh Obviously, the whole gaming world wasn't, like, open to me yet because of, like, age restrictions. But I got myself GTA San Andreas as soon as I turned 16 and I have such fond memories of it. And I was so impressed with the graphics and stuff and it was just mind-blowing to me. And I thought it was like super realistic and at the height of whatever video games could ever look like. And uh, then I had like the same feeling years later when I played Heavy Rain on the PS3. It was just like wow. And I've always been driven to um, mostly story games and, and open world. They were always like... A huge thing for me and I just love those like even if you look at my current gaming um, I'm currently on another Mass Effect series playthrough uh, which I'm also going to talk about like in the future of this podcast um, it's just like those story games and uh, I just love those and gaming has always been like so much fun for me like all those stories you can experience and having in several games even the course of action in your own hands with all the choice based games like Life is Strange and the David Cage games and to some extent uh, even like Fallout and Mass Effect, like obviously there's like the illusion of choice, like the story has to go somewhere, but overall it's just story-based games, choice-based games, all of this stuff that I just really, really like and uh, I don't know, it's just really, really cool and gaming is just my thing and uh, when I look at my shelf looking at the wood burnings that I've done like it has also inspired me to be creative like uh, thinking about all the fan art I could do and have done and all the videos that I've created so far and in the future all those podcast episodes I'm going to record like uh, it's just it's just amazing gaming is such a huge part of my life and I can't imagine a future seeing myself without gaming like I don't know it's it 
maybe one day, someday, I'll uh, just, I don't know. I, I can't imagine that. Like, it's gaming is just like all this progress that constantly gets made and all the stories that are being told and it keeps going on and on and I also can't wait to see what the future of gaming has to offer like uh, even though it sounds super creepy like maybe we'll get something like Sword Art Online just maybe hopefully without all the death that we can just put on like some special VR goggles and experience a game like we are actually in there. And I'm I'm not talking like uh, Oculus Rift and PlayStation VR stuff where we still have to like physically move and stuff and are like bound to where we are. I think like, you know, the whole Sword Art Online thing or in the Black Mirror episode of Striking Wipers uh, that we just sit down and put something on and we're like with our brain in the game and like as I said hopefully with, without all the death and stuff because like that would be scary um like you know the 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 monkey that had uh, Elon Musk's Neuralink installed and played Pong Uh, the monkey died, so uh, hopefully we we will have like something like that without dying really soon, or like in the future that I will so still hopefully see. Like I don't know, maybe once I'm retired, I'll go and sit down, put on my special brain readers, and it'll project the game into me, and I'll. I don't know, maybe I will explore a whole new galaxy that is set in the Mass Effect universe. Maybe I will finally be able to bang a Turian, like, that would be great. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> gaming and romance gaming and gaming, ro ga romance and gaming, that's like also like really great because Some of those stories are queer and I love that. Representation matters. It's amazing. And yeah. Um, and yeah, like I said, gaming has always been a huge part of my life. And I think without the interesting interest in gaming, uh, there is a huge amount of friends that... I wouldn't have met and with everything like that and my interest in gaming and stuff and like all the people that I do know now I wouldn't know if I wasn't into gaming and I've made some pretty great friends because of gaming like not like online doing I mean, I made those friends online, but like not during online games. Like, um, multiplayer is not really my thing. Like, I'm more of a leisure gamer, and like, um, I just don't want people to depend on me and be like, oh no. There she goes again, Commander Nikki is dead on the ground, we have to save her or we lose group points uh, or stuff like that, you know. So um, I mostly only like online games if I can be on my own, like for example in uh, Red Dead Online or Fall Guys, um, stuff like that where uh, groups don't have to depend on me and... Yeah, um, it's just, I really love gaming and looking at the time of the recording, I think around the 15 minute mark for first episode is pretty good for the first time. Just speaking freely without any preparation, just going at it, pressing record and stuff like, yeah. 
So um, I really hope you enjoyed this very first episode of Nikki's Gaming Universe. Um, find me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, I'm probably forgetting something, but you can find me there as Commander Nikki. Links will be in the description. And yeah, so um, I, I guess um, this is Commander Nikki logging out. See you or more like hear you in the next episode of Nikki's Gaming Universe. Bye.